Hey everybody, welcome to another TechHero.net video, the hero for all your tech related problems and needs. Um, this one we're going to be showing you how to make a banner or a cover uh, uh, photo for your timeline on Facebook. The picture I'm talking about is this big one right here, um, and they do call it a cover photo. I consider this a banner just from making websites. But uh, I'm going to teach you how to get this exact size and kind of how to mess around with it and then uh, eventually upload it once you're done. So first thing you're going to want to do is open up something like Photoshop or GIMP or something like that to where you can get the exact dimensions which I have one I've already made that uh, fits perfectly. So I'm going to open up Photoshop and I'm going to go to new and then oh, let me see here so I can see my dimensions at the same time new and then my width is 851 pixels by 315 pixels and you want to make sure this is on pixels and not inches or centimeters or anything like that and we rather, want a rather high resolution so we'll do like 2000 for the resolution you should be fine at like a thousand but I'm just up it up a little bit and then we will click OK and I'm done with that here is our um, said banner or our cover photo for Facebook and we'll zoom in a little bit okay so uh, I'm not too advanced but I'm not uh, a beginner at Photoshop so I'll just do some basic things uh, make kind of a catchy looking banner here we'll, we'll pick uh, like a blue color color that all in um, let's say you like the um, for example sports team say you like the Kansas City Royals uh, so it is search for a Kansas City Royals picture um, let's see We'll just find. We'll just uh, we'll use this basic one here. We can find the picture on Google or wherever. Save image. I'll save it to my desktop. Um, never mind. That's a GIF. We don't want to use that. We, we're looking for like a JPEG or a PNG. Um, let's see what this one is. And when you right click and click Save Image As, it'll tell you what it is. And here we go. Here's a JPEG. So we'll use this one and download it. Now we can go to file, open, and we'll find the one we just downloaded. Let's see, this is it right here. And let's say we want this as part of our uh, timeline photo. And you can see that's what it looks like. Um, uh, let's just say we'll put it right here in this spot. And remember your. Uh, your uh, profile picture like your icon on Facebook is gonna take up this spot right here so you don't want to put anything right there because your uh, profile picture is going to be covering up part of this cover photo this area right here as you can see I'm boxing it out right there this area um, so we want to our background to match so we're going to get the color matching tool take that select our background layer and we will color our background that color as you can see now it blends in and now we want uh, uh, the, this white color right here that they used and we'll click on that with our color match tool and then we'll find our text option and we'll put it right here we can as you can see I have that way too big uh, let's put that down to like two um, let's find a different font here. You can choose your font. Uh, I love the Royals. Okay. Let's say we want to make that bigger. We'll actually go up to like a a three. Let's go to a three point five. This should be about perfect. Okay, um, move this a little bit so we'll go back to that layer, put it more in the corner. And let's say then the last thing we want to put like a, um, 
like a border around it. Uh, we'll use this gold color. So we'll take our color matching tool and we'll click on that goldish color. And we'll take our square and just make it long. And we'll try to make these all look the same so the borders all kind of match. Just kind of use your best judgment. It's not that big of a deal. Um, we'll just do that on all the sides. Something like that. Okay. That's about it. Now we're going to go to File, Save As. We'll save this to our desktop and we will name this uh, My Royals um, Cover Banner Photo or whatever. And then you're going to want to save it as a PNG or JPEG. I recommend PNG because it, it, it's really good uh, of a font to use with anything online. So we'll just go ahead and select PNG and we will save it. Okay. And now since we already know we have the right size and we left that spot blank, we can just head on over to our Facebook profile. This is the one we made in how to set up a, a Facebook profile. So no, this is not my profile. And then we will go up here. Uh, you'll either already have one or uh, you don't. But either way, you'll find an option to update cover photo. And we want to upload the photo. Navigate to our desktop. And here we found the file My Royal Cover Banner Photo is what I named it. Long name. But anyway, we'll select it and it will begin uploading. And then you can reposition it normally if you have a bigger photo, but we did it the exact size, so there is no moving it. And then save changes. And there we go. It's it's pretty good quality, not too bad. And that's this is our uh, I love the Royals uh, banner photo. That's about it. That's all you need to do. Once again, I can show you those dimensions if you want to write them down for the perfect banner size. It is. 851 width and then the height is 315 that is 851 by 315 and that is pixels anyway thank you guys for watching hopefully this helped you out go to www.techhero.net for more videos information and all kinds of stuff for uh, tech related problems and needs um, new things coming out, how to fix old things, uh, basic stuff, advanced stuff, and more. Uh, as of right now, we are pretty new, but we are constantly trying to add videos to help you out. And you can also uh, be more than happy if you emailed us and gave us your ideas. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all later. Have a good one.